Hello, my name is Mark Williams. I'm the designer of Red Tide. I'm going to walk you through this playthrough. To the right, you're going to see the timer actions, and you can reference that as we're playing here for your um, better understanding of the game. So this is a real-time strategy game for two players. We're about to get started. So you start the game, three, two, one, go. And here I flipped both timers and moved my units. Um, I moved a TSV carrying two conscripts and the TSV has a speed of two. And so you can move two spaces under one timer. Once it got to its destination, the conscripts hopped out for a free action and they were able to take a second movement. So they actually got to move three spaces uh, by traveling inside of that um, TSV. So now I um, moved my conscripts to the mine and they um, started building once they got there. They started building a mining support command. The mining support command comes with a mining truck. And then once the mining support command is built, uh, you can start mining. Uh, you can see uh, under the 60 second timer actions collecting ore. So I just flipped my 60 second timer and now I'm collecting ore. Um, I'm the guy on the right and my friend is the guy on the left and he just got his uh, mining operation going and um, you start off with two 30 second timer actions or two 30 second timers and I just built a vehicle support command just um, next to the mining support command and that gives me an extra timer and I also built a um, personnel support uh, which gave me my fourth timer so the more you want to try and get your timers going um, and you also want to try and get um, your mining operation going at the same time as well. So my friend Levi to the left, um, he's got his vehicle support command going and looks like he's uh, starting to build a mining truck. And I just collected my first uh, ore, first set of ore. So the mine that I'm on produces two ore per mining truck. And I have two mining trucks there. I had budgeted it out to build a mining truck right away, and I've got another one going. Um, each player starts off with 20 ore. All right, I moved my <coughs> TSV and conscripts back. Uh, my buddy Levi, he is got a kind of a f more forward um, personnel support out there. Um, so we have each have objective cards. Um, I'm going to go through those right now while you watch. So Levi, he's going to be doing um, an objective operation decapitation. He has to destroy my command base structure, which is in the upper right corner of the map. And he'll also be doing Reign of Death, which he has to destroy two of my mining trucks and use um, infantry upgraded with mortars in order to do that. Um, I'm going to be doing a uh, objective called Sabotza, and I have to, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but I have to destroy the enemy advanced support structure he has he doesn't have that built yet but um, and I have to use conscripts upgraded with sabotage and I'll explain those in a little bit and then I've got another one called Saurau which means harass um, I have to damage three of his mining trucks and I have to use one attack to just to uh, damage those so in one attack I have to damage all three of the mining trucks all right back to the action here um, Levi's in blue and he is moving through the mountains. Um, the two of those uh, mountain uh, sectors, 
uh, you can only use uh, only personnel can move through there. You can't move vehicles or you can't build structures in in that area. You can, to the bottom of the mountain range, move vehicles and personnel through there. Um, or you can skirt around the top and do whatever you want. Um, so he, what he is doing is he is going to be moving through the mountain. He's going to be trying to um, get in there and destroy those two mining trucks using those um, infantry upgraded with mortars <clears throat> so on the player mats uh, you can buy upgrades and it just gives you extra bonuses to your attack um, could give you extra armor um, extra range so the mortars allow him to attack from an adjacent sector um, with mortars now they're not super powerful, so you have to come at your enemy with um, a bunch of uh, a bunch of infantry upgraded with those. But um, they're supposed to be it's supposed to be a harassing tactic to where yeah you might not do a whole lot of damage to start, but if you don't take care of them, they're gonna definitely hurt you long term. Um, my conscripts need to be upgraded with sabotage, which um, you target a structure that you can target a structure that's adjacent to you. And if they can't destroy that conscript within 60 seconds, then you destroy that structure. So um, those are two support powers or two upgrades for each of the personnel units on each side. Um, I am playing the Unified Socialist Countries, which is uh, Russia and China have merged together in this future war. And Levi is playing the uh, Republic of Constitutional States, so it's basically the Western Alliance. So, <clears throat> combat once it starts uh, you have target tokens and you can have up to three targets and um, your goal is to damage or destroy those units by um, coming at uh, attacking with enough attack stat, um, attack value to um, inflict that damage so if you have an attack of five and your enemy has an armor of five you can damage them and there are two two armor values your amount of attack required to damage and the amount of attack required to destroy it and all of them are pretty close but it just gives you that ability to either come in with something light and just damage it to where they can't attack as much and they um, have to repair it which is can be really frustrating or you can completely destroy it with um, with more attack, obviously. So um, those values are on the tokens themselves. So move in, flip a timer, you know, designate your targets, and um, call out how much attack you're doing, six attack damaging or six attack destroying however whatever that armor value is so levi skirted around the bottom there he moved some infantry um infantry within range and now he is uh, trying to attack my um mining so truck and he has uh, four infantry and he has destroyed one of my mining trucks. And right there I flipped out one of my um, armor tokens. Um, what that is, is it gives me plus one armor. So a mining truck has three armor and four armor. So three attack to damage it and four attack to destroy it. And because I flipped out that plus one armor, it made it five, so he only damaged it. And so now I'm moving my TSVs in to mop up those 
um, infantry. Um, I've upgraded my TSVs with um, additional attack to basically um, kill those infantry under one attack. So I've whittled those down to now they can only do two attack with their mortars and he's retreating. <coughs> And that was kind of my only goal, was to just kind of kick him out of there. But he definitely has me, um, definitely has me uh, busy trying to mitigate that. And so what he did was he flipped another timer, and um, that uh, one infantry left down there with uh, mortars was able to take out the roof. Uh, the damaged mining truck. Alright, I'm just gonna kill this guy off. So, what I'm what I'm trying to do now is just uh, he's keeping me busy by moving those personnel through that um, through that mountain pass there. And what I'm trying to do is build up a force to go up on top. So the top left is where his mine is, and I'm gonna be trying to. Um, damage those mining trucks there but um, now that my economy has been hurt by his harassing of my mining trucks um, I have to take care of that down there and what I just did up up in the upper right there on my player mat is I flipped a timer and bought the um, heavy armor upgrade for my mining trucks so that will give me plus two armor to those mining trucks so now he has to come at me with even more um, infantry in order to do any damage to those mining trucks and what I did just in case he really came at me heavy was I retreated my mining trucks out so now I cannot collect ore on that mine um, but I'll move them in back uh, move them back in there shortly and get things going again um, I had some money built up so so I'm building a whole bunch of TSVs to um, basically make it so he has to keep produce uh, building more and more infantry in order to um, do what he wants to do. And it's just there to you know, keep him busy with that. <laughs> so what he's doing is he's just collecting ore and building units to just basically distract me and keep me distracted down there. And so now he placed out three target tokens, right, and so got, um, he is going to um, three plus one, right? deal out some so damage on those. Is, yeah, so four. Um, yep. so, side note, uh, kind of a rabbit trail. Uh, you'll hear my 3D printer in the background uh, one, and, and this does um, one, so. my wife giggling. So this is, I this think one can. She's this writing a book. Oh, because he's on the outside. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I don't know if the TSD so, um, he came at yeah. me uh, one thing uh, that you really want to do just to keep things smooth is when you come into attack um, know how much you're coming into attack with just to make things smoother for um, the combat so we kind of had some discussion there just to make sure that <clears throat> the amount of attack dealt was proper um, and so then I moved my TSV in because uh, he was not a, he had to focus fire all of his stuff on my infantry or my conscripts in order to um, take those out. So he had, he could target two in order to do the, in order to damage or destroy all those. And so then I moved my remaining TSV in, which he wasn't able to target um, or do enough damage against, and took out one of his um, infantry. So that way he could not um, sit there and blow up my mining trucks even though now he has to come at me with a, a lot more firepower in order to do that so right now he's going to move in uh, how much you got four and he's going to target uh, so one of my mining trucks but two, he's realizing so, uh, that he did not have enough uh, attack to do it not enough because he did not look and he did not see that I had oh, upgraded no. my mining trucks yeah. uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Which to new players that can be frustrating if they're not watching what the other player is upgrading or doing. Um, but that's kind of the the way that we kind of keep the fog of war because fog of war is really hard to do on a board game because um, players need to be able to move around the map freely, and so um, it's it's on your opponent to keep an eye on what you're doing. Um, all right, so I've got a well. move buttload of TSVs coming over here to help clean yeah, up those okay. infantry. Um, so one thing to note is each sector has a capacity limit. Um, yeah. Inherently, each sector is three. Well, but you'll see little square tokens, and those can augment those. So those can upgrade them to like a five or a six or an eight. And um, that's just to help um, mitigate massive blobs of units coming in because it just gets too um, too difficult to keep track of. So I just uh, moved my TSVs, which if you remember, have a speed of two, so they can move two sectors and one movement. And I just moved a bunch of TSVs up to clean up all those infantry up there. And now Levi is moving in across the top of the map. I can't remember what he's coming in with, um, but he is coming at my uh, command base. So he's oh, he's got two Grim Reaper tanks, which those are the heavy tanks. And he used his plus one speed to move them at a speed of two. And so now he's up close and he wants to get in there and do some damage on that command base. So he was able to damage it. So he's pretty close to completing his objective there. Um, that's my own fault for leaving that unguarded. You can build defenses. There are um, two types of defenses, heavy machine gun defense and each faction has a variant of an anti-tank or an anti-vehicle uh, uh, defense. So I could have built some defenses up there, but I was basically burning all my money up trying to keep him from destroying everything down there. Um, so now he's trying to move personnel in there, so I'm just moving my mass amount of units Come back on. so <clears throat> i've got tsvs um that are loaded with right, my two, two, conscripts two. which the conscripts are right now they're upgraded with uh rpgs and they can fire on, from inside <laughs> the, the tsvs so you could have three tsvs loaded with two conscripts each so that would make six conscripts which those anti-tank rocket or those my, RPGs my do uh, two damage to attack. So um, you can do quite a bit of attack with a bunch of TSVs, but the TSVs are pretty weak with armor. So um, somebody with six tanks could, uh, you know, although they would be sitting there and get three of them destroyed, they could still destroy easily destroy three TSVs packed with conscripts and uh, um, every single one of those will be gone so so now he's moving in to attack my uh, advanced support structure move my blob I don't know why I flipped all those timers but moving the blob into here and I'm taking out all three of your and I move in my TSVs packed with uh, all of those uh Conscripts, and I cleaned oh, up those tanks of his. And I think he tried, yeah, he tried to damage that structure, but he didn't have enough. So right now I'm cleaning up my mess. Um, so it's more organized. I was kind of disorganized there for a second, but I got all the conscripts loaded into the TSVs that they belong to and Where did my dudes go that killed so I can rebuild um, uh, my I command base but it costs me 20 ore which I do not no, have my, I and um, in order to build a structure you need to have a personnel unit in the same so sector so the personnel the units um, are sort of your your building your builders so 
They're like, um, I've got wow. my TSB yeah. completely full of um, personnel. So <laughs> move those guys up and blasted the uh, infantry. He's just beat walling me. He's just throwing, throwing lives at the cause. So right now he's got uh, two Grim Reapers um, sitting up there by his base next okay. to his this guy's gonna move in. mine. And we're so gonna now he is moving, at the same time. So we'll moving in to try and <laughs> try and do some damage. Which no, he did that's do. still not enough damage. I'm so sorry. That's still not enough. <laughs> oh, that's right. He forgot that I had. Uh, yep. Oh, so orders. he didn't have enough. <clears throat> so I, what I'm about to do is I'm about to. Um, that was kind of the intention behind that. Yeah, I'm about to try and make a there. make it's a move just... here. I, I've been. He's been keeping me busy in my base. I gotta sneak some tanks in with them. And, and I need to complete an objective. All right, and so I'm getting kind of sick and tired of, of him moving in, doing his and of course doing the thing, doing his thing. So I'm gonna clean those guys up. Take so I put my guys. timer. I knew I had enough um, with my. With your, he had two uh, infantry two there, right and uh, so there was yeah. You had two two here. Ah, so, so here's here's a little right? mistake I made. I just kind of here. tossed his tokens. And, I, I don't know. Um, it's just better. It, it's better etiquette to um, just hand the tokens to the other player or set them on their player mat, not just chuck them across the map. Um, so he has a TSV just sitting in my base, but it can't do anything. Um, it can just sit there and burn up bullets, firing at stuff, but it doesn't have enough attack to do any damage to anything. In there, so I'm ignoring it for now. Oh, <laughs> there they um, are. I got my mining operation kind of back going, so um, building my last two conscripts to load them in there to go up and try and lay some hurt on um, on him to complete my objective. All right. Yep, so he completed that objective. Um, so when you yep. complete an objective, you flip it over and show that you've completed it. And so that way the other, the other player knows that the time is ticking for the game to, to get the game finished or for you to win. So, so I'm moving my conscripts up into the same sector where my TSVs are. Um, and because they can load and unload from the TSVs for a free action, they just jumped right in there. So I'm switching my capacity tokens around to um, make it so I can uh, hold more units. And you can move those capacity tokens around at will. Um, it's just a logistics, uh, logistics action there that you can take for free. So some other free actions you can take. So I'll, I'll just list them off. So the free actions is load and unload personnel in and out of your TSV. Uh, purchase sector capacity tokens. So if you want, you can purchase more of those <clears throat> to increase your ability to have more units on the map. Uh, you can place and exchange the sector capacity tokens and you can purchase additional attack tokens. So you start off with one target attack. So those little tokens you put down to designate your targets um, you start off with one and then you can buy the extras. Do my speed plus one. You can buy up to three. All right, so here's where I here's where I kind of screwed up. So I moved him in there, <coughs> did my three damage, completed my objective, but um, I was not watching my movement timer, which is back um, towards me in the upper right of the map. Um, as soon as that thing expired. Uh, I should have, like it's expired right now. I should have moved those guys out of there before he was able to move his units in because, um, anyway, I was not paying attention. 
should have moved him out. He wouldn't have been able to get at me, and I could have survived and um, lived another day and probably could have won the game. But uh, he moved in, and he destroyed my uh, my TSVs. Well, what I did was I um, I moved all the way from the back in my base there, and I um, I um, bought rebought my plus one speed, and um, moved them at a speed of three up into his mine and damaged his mining trucks. <clears throat> and then I forgot to move them out because I just was not paying attention. I should have flipped that timer and got him out of there, but I did not. So my plan was to go up there, do the damage, get out of there, move down and around in um, to the lower left part of the board and then come up come back up north and you, you can see he's got two structures right next to each other there um, and he's got his advanced support command which is what I need to destroy and I could have skirted down and around and got up there and blew that up and won the game but um now he's moving his infantry through the mountains again. And uh, this is where he's going to win the game because he's going to do enough um, do enough attack right now on my mining truck to destroy it. So, Which will give him his second mining truck destroyed, which will complete his objective. So, uh, TSV to all target, a single he's got his TSV in there, which gives him um, Is that the first one that I get? another <laughs> one attack. No, that's the second one. No. And he had his. Uh, oh, the game? Yeah. Sweet. Infantry there. So just and I wanted to collect my last bit of ore. <laughs> went down fighting. Yeah, so. <laughs> That was my plan. Is I was like, okay. He won that game. I had won the game before, like, but uh, as as that that's red tight. So the timer actions there, just allow you to perform those actions there. You get some free actions, but it's build a base, build an army to complete your objectives, collect resources, and uh, engage in combat. It is a real time strategy that was inspired by Command and Conquer. I loved playing Command and Conquer, and I wanted a board game to. Uh, play that so hope you enjoyed um, that is all for now no mine was advanced support okay but I had to use sabotage so that's why I had so many conscripts I'm like if I just flood them all out yeah like you can't take out that many guys yeah well it's funny that we both went for infantry ones though I'm like, this was fun train. though, like, I, like me having to try and keep up and keep just whittling them down. Yeah, that was, was, was like really interesting. I got to be smarter about the way that I lost so many guys because I'm like just barely. But well, when there. I saw you were doing mortars, I was like, I've got to get that armor plating on my mining trucks, or I'm never going to be able to mine again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>